for MSET and NEET and for other competitive exams, especially physics. Okay, as part of that, I am explaining and uploading the videos of different chapters on concept and problem, concept and problem like that. So this is the another video on the kick off loss and potential difference between two points on the topic. I am preparing the, this is the another video. I will give the link of the playlist of that particular videos. Children, in our channel, I am uploading the one playlist for one complete chapter. And in that again, for particular topic, playlist is there. For example, current electricity chapter is now going on. And in that, kick off loss and potential difference between two points. For that, one playlist is available. That's why, if you want to get the total information, then go for playlist and check it once. Okay. Without late, I am going to the topic. This is a one more question. One more question here. The figure shows a network of currents. The current will be options. The current I will be 3 amperes, 30 amperes, 23 amperes, minus 3 amperes. One diagram is given. The figure shows a network of the currents. The current I will be. What you have to find out? In the diagram, I D is there. We have to find out the value of I. So, and the options are given like this. 3 amperes, 13 amperes, 23 amperes, minus 3 amperes. To solve this one, you have to idea about the kick of first law. What it is, at any junction, the algebraic sum of current should be 0. Or the amount of currents which are entered into the junction is equal to the amount of current leaving the junction. And all of you know, the values of current which are entered into the junction they can be taken as positive and the currents which are leaving the junction they can be taken as negative so if you have idea about that one you can easily simplify this question okay now i am taking that here this is the point a this is nothing but junction a and this is the junction b and this is the junction c and this is the junction d clear so a, B, C, D are four junctions. A, B, C, D are junctions. What is meant by junction? S. Combining of different, combining or leaving of number of currents. At one point, that point what we call junction. So now children, you have to observe at A. This is the junction A. What is entering? S like this. This is a 15 ampere is entering and uh, like this, this is a uh, 8 amperes entering, clear, 8 amperes, amperes is entering. So this is the junction A, at the junction A, 15 amperes is entering in this path, 8 amperes is entering this path. That's why here, the amount of current which is entered, that should be equals to what, 15 plus 8. So this is what, entering, clear. And now here, from this point, it is moving, leaving that one. So what it is, for example, I am saying now this is the X. Clear. 15 and 8. What is 15 plus 8? 23. So that 23 nothing but this X. So X value is what? 23 amperes. So now, you can observe here. A to B. A to B, there is only single path. That's why A to B, the how much current is going on? 23 amperes clear at junction A 15 ampere amperes and 18 amperes are entering and X is leaving what we know according to Kirchhoff first law the amount of currents which are entered into the junction is equal to the amount of current leaving here now X is leaving at A that's why here what is the value of X 15 plus 8 that is what 23 and what is that A to B how much going on 23 amperes is going on. Clear. So after that, here we reach the B. What is at B junction? Clear. So we have to look at that one. At B, what it is enter here? That is 23 amperes. 23 amperes. And this is what again 3 more amperes is entered into the B. Look here. 23 is entered in this way and 3 amperes current is coming in this way. Clear. 
That's why here at junction B, at junction B, what did I? Sum of the currents entered. What did it is? 23 plus 3 is equals to. Here I am going to say this is Y. Clear. From B to D, how much current is going on? D. That is how much? 23 plus 3 is equals to 26 amperes. So what I have to say? B to D, how much is current going on? 26 amperes. Clear. And after that, now we have to find out the as at junction C. At junction C. Clear. So you have to watch carefully there. At junction C, 8 amperes is going in this way, leaving the junction. And uh, like this, 5 amperes is entered. 5 amperes is entered. And now here, one more current should be joins like this. Clear. 8 is leaving, 5 is entering, and for example, I am saying now it is Z. Some Z is entered. Z is entered here. This is what junction C. At junction C, 8 amperes is leaving, 5 amperes and Z amperes is entered. That's why here leaving current is equal to leaving current is equal to entered current. What is 5 plus Z? 5 plus Z. That's why here 8 is equal to or uh, 8 minus 5 is equal to Z. That is what 3 amperes. That's why what you have to say? Z is equal to 3 amperes. And now here B to D. How much current is there? 26. Here Y value is what? 26 amperes. Clear. So at this junction D, at this junction D, what you observe? 26 entering 3 and I. At junction D, what you observe? At junction D children, what you can observe? Here like this. This is the D. 26 amperes is entering and I is leaving and again in this direction Z is there Z is what? 3 amperes 3 amperes so Y is entered Z is leaving and I also leaving that's why what you write at D so at D what you can write 26 is entered and 3 plus I is leaving then what do you get? I is equals to 26 minus 3 amperes that is what? 23 amperes. So I value is what? 23 amperes. You can check it. 3 plus 23, 26. That should be equals to entering current. So when we have idea about the Kirchhoff first law, you can simply solve it. That's why here children, third option is the right one. See the next question children. This is the direct bit. If AB is equals to 4 volts in the given figure, then the resistance X will be what? That is the question. Our options are given 5 ohms, 10 ohms, 15 ohms, 20 ohms. So children, what you have given? This is the point A and this is the point B. And uh, the potential difference between A and B. A and B. What it is? It was given VAB is equals to 4 volts. 4 volts he was given. Clear. And he was given one battery of EMF 5 volts and inter resistance is 10 ohms and next battery is EMF is 2 volts and uh, its resistance is X then how we can find out the X value clear for that children this is a direct bit so VAB is equal to epsilon or E1 R2 plus E2 R1 by R1 plus R2. So here what is the E1 value? E1 is 5 volts and E2 is equals to 2 volts and R1 is what? 10 ohms and R2 is equals to X ohms. And what he was given? VAB is equals to 4 volts. So if you have idea about the formula, they can go for substitution. So 4 is equals to E1 is what? 5 into R2 is what? X plus E2 is what 2 into R1 is what 10 by next R1 plus R2 what is 10 plus X 10 plus X clear then what you get 4 is equals to 5X plus 
20 by n plus x n plus x cross multiplication 4 into 10 plus x is equals to 5x plus 20 so 4 into 10 means what 40 plus 4x is equals to 5x plus 20 so you can that will take the side 5x minus 4x is equals to what it is 40 minus 20 40 minus 20 that means what x is equals to 20 ohms so x value is what how much you got 20 ohms so that's why here children fourth option is the right one see the next question children this is a another type of model see the question two batteries of emf 4 volts and 8 volts with internal resistances 1 ohm and 2 ohm are connected in a circuit with a resistance of 9 ohms as shown in figure. The current and potential difference between the points P and Q are See once again, 2 batteries of EMF 4 volts and 8 volts. So in the circuit, 2 batteries are there. One is having some 4 volts and one is having some 8 volts with internal resistances 1 ohm so here this is the R1 first battery EMF is 4 volts and its resistance is what? S 1 ohm and second battery of EMF 8 volts its resistance is 2 ohms that uh, with a, 2 ohms are currently in a circuit with a resistance of 9 ohms resistance of 9 ohms as shown in figure so in between these two what was given? One resistor is given. How much resistance? 9 ohms. Now what you will find out? The current and potential difference between the points P and Q. P and Q. So this is the point P and this is the point Q. Now we want to find out the potential difference between P and Q. And at the same time, current across the S9. 9 ohms resistor. So for that, we have to apply the Kirchhoff second law. We have to apply apply the Kirchhoff second law to apply the Kirchhoff second law first you have to identify the direction of moving of current in the circuit for example if there is only one battery we can easily identify the direction of current but here there are two batteries are there two batteries are there among that what you have to say 8 volt is there 4 volt is there that's why here which is having 8 volts is greater than the 4 volts that's why here the direction shown by the 8 volts must be same as the end circuit. That's why here, so got it children. In among the two batteries, which one is having highest value in the, in the direction of current? Only the end current should be takes place. Clear? That's why here, I am showing the, this is the direction of current now. This is the direction of current. Clear? So, now we have to apply the Kirchhoff second law. What is the Kirchhoff second law? The algebraic sum of potential in a loop is 0. So, that's why we are going to use that one here. Now, I am sorted at the point Q. What is? I am sorted at the point Q. And I want to decide that should be, we have to move in the direction of current. So, current is moving from what? Like this. Same, quite similar to the direction of Q to P and the same direction also we are coming and that should be in anti-clockwise, anti-clockwise. So here we start from Q, that means what we are taking for example Q, P, I am saying now it is A, B, Q, P, A, B. So loop is what? For loop Q, P, A, B, for loop Q, P, A, B. So what we know? Potential is equal to current into resistance. Current into resistance. So here we have to take the I is the amount of current. I is the amount of current in the circuit. Here R2 is there and its value is 2 ohms. That's why here what right? According to Kirchhoff second law, what right? Minus I R2. And we are coming here low to high. That's why it is plus 8 volts. And again here we are coming from high to low. That's why it is minus 4 volts. And again, we are coming to here like this in the direction of current only. <coughs> That's what I write. I R1. I R1. And again, we are moving like this direction, like this 9. Here, 9 volts is there. 
नाइन आई डी से सो दस बी इक्वल टू जीरो दस बी इक्वल टू जीरो हियर माइनस आई आर डी मीन्स वो आर टू ओम्स आई इनटू टू प्लस एट माइनस फोर फोर अगेन आई इनटू आर ओम इज व्हाट वन ओम एंड माइनस नाइन आई इज इक्वल टू जीरो क्लियर व्हाट इज माइनस टू आई क्लियर माइनस आई एंड माइनस नाइन आई प्लस फोर इज इक्वल टू जीरो फ्रॉम द डॉट राइट माइनस नाइन आई माइनस आई माइनस टेन अगेन टू सो माइनस ट्वेल्व आई प्लस फोर इज इक्वल टू जीरो क्लियर देन व्हाट राइट हियर माइनस ट्वेल्व आई इज इक्वल टू माइनस फोर आई इज इक्वल टू फोर बाय ट्वेल्व दैट मींस व्हाट आई इज इक्वल टू वन थर्ड एम्पीयर व्हाट इज आई इज इक्वल टू वन थर्ड एम्पीयर so this is the amount of current in the circuit amount of current in the circuit so what you have to find out we have to find out the potential difference between p and q p and q here this is the p and this is the q now potential difference what right here across this one across this one what right similarly here v is equals to ir v is equals to ir v is equals to ir What we got the value of current one third ampere. So V is equals to one third ampere, and this is what is what nine. So one third into nine that is what three volts. Three volts. So three volts is available in between P and Q. So actually A and B is not given in the circuit. Simply to know about the loop, I gave you like this A and B. So now what you got to learn sir, the potential between P and Q is what three volts. The current of what you got one third ampere, and what is what? What is this? What three volts? That's why among the four options, first option is the correct one. Very simple and logical question. In the circuit shown, potential difference between x and y will be. Options are given: zero, twenty volts, sixty volts, and one twenty volts. See once again. In the circuit shown, potential difference between x and y. So you have to check where is the x and y in the diagram. So this is the x and this is the y. Now what you have to say the potential difference between potential difference between x and y. X and y we have to say. So children, just you have to observe very carefully. First you have to check. Whether this is the open circuit and closed circuit. So already what we know in case of a closed circuit only the current is moving, clear. But in case of open circuit the current is not possible to move. That's why here the circuit what he was given that is the open circuit. What is open circuit? We have condition is there in an open circuit in an Open circuit. Here, the potential difference between S two points is nothing but applied EMF or applied EMF of battery. So here, that is generally what we call terminal voltage. Terminal voltage. Here, when there is no Current passes in the circuit, then the potential between any two points in a open circuit should be equals to the applied EMF. That's why here in the given options, fourth option is the correct one. So you have to check whether it is a closed or open. So and second point is it was not mentioned about the any direction of current, any direction of current. It was not mentioned in the diagram. So that's why. You have to notice these points while you are checking the problem in the entrance. Okay. See the next question, children. This is the another model, important model. In the circuit element given here, if the potential at a point B, V B is equal to zero, then the potential of A and D are given as. See once again, in the circuit element, one of the circuit element is given. The potential at point B, potential at a point B is what? V B is equal to zero. Then potential of A and D are given as options. 
first option minus 1.5 2 volts 1 minus 1.5 0.5 1.5 0.5 1.5 and minus 0.5 so these are the options given for a and b potential values clear now look at the diagram here this is the a point this is the b point this is the c and this is the d and what are the hints given one ampere current is passing through the entire circuit because it is a series combination there is only one path here one ampere and here what is the resistance value of resistor 1.5 here 2.5 ohms of that resistor clear now a b clear children now here the potential difference between a and b potential difference between a and b is written as v a minus v b v a minus v b clear so here is what you are saying here one ampere current is going here what write 1.5 into 1 so here 1.5 into what write potential is equal to what v is equal to ir the current is how much it is there 1 ampere and 1.5 is resistance 1.5 is resistance and current is what 1 minus vb what it was given vb value 0 that's why 0 that's why 1.5 into 1 is what 1.5 volts va value is what simply 1.5 volts clear or simply what right if you can take these two VA minus VB is what? 1.5 into 1. And VB value is what? 0. That's why VA value is what? 1.5. So among the four options, here 1 point plus 1.5 is there, plus 1.5 is there. That's why here, first option is the wrong one, second option is the wrong one. Now we have to check for these two. So when it is clarified, when you can find out the potential at D, potential at D. So for that, next we can go for potential between B and C. Potential between B and C. Potential between B and C can be written as B, B minus V C. V B minus V C. What is V B value here? 0 minus V C. How much potential is there? Resistance is there? 2.5. 2.5 how much current is there? 1. That's what I write. Right? V C is equals to what? Simply 2.5 minus 2.5 ohms. That is what VC value. VC value. And now we can go for VCD. What it is? VCD. Potential between C and D. That is what VC minus VD. VC minus VD. What is the VC value here? How much is there? Minus 2.5. And VD value is what it was given? 2 volts. So 2 volts. That is what here? Right. Minus 2.5 minus 2 means what? Minus 0 0.5 volts. That's why here potential at D is what? Minus 0 0.5 volts. And at A is what? 1.5 volts. So here 1.5 and minus 0 0.5. So that's why here fourth option is the correct one children. Current I at C showing the circuit will be. There is one circuit. We have to find out the amount of current in that circuit. Options are given 10 amperes, 10 third ampere, 0, infinite. So very simple children, you have to understand the connection first here. This 3 ohm and this 3 ohm are these who are the short circuited. Short circuited. When they are short circuited, they have same potential. They, they have same potential. That's why when they have same potential, there is no current transmission between these two. Clear. So that's why simply we can go for this one only. Simply here, how much resistance is there? 3 ohms. And how much current is there? Sorry. How much resistance is there? 3 ohms. How much potential is there? 10 volts. And what is the formula? V is equal to IR. And I is equal to V by R. And what is the V value? 10 ohms. Resistance value? 3. If I is equal to what? 10 third ampere. 10 third ampere. So this is the right option children. So that's why children you can observe the same diagram here. In the given diagram he was not shown any direction of current in this particular part of the circuit. He was not shown any direction of current. Simply he was showing like this. 
here this is the current and this is the current clear that's why here simply what is the relation given answer 10 third average right answer simply here what it is b by r see the next question children very easy one current through the 5 ohm resistor is is current through the 5 ohm resistor is that is the question options are given 2 amperes 4 amperes 0 ampere 1 ampere so simply he was given one circuit what he was asking current through the 5 ohm resistor he was asking clear so very simple you how to observe how is the connection this is the plus one and this is the plus one and this is the minus and this is the minus so all positives are given to one point and negatives are given to another point that's why it is in parallel combination what it is parallel combination now this resistance also in parallel with the 10 ohms 10 ohms that's why what do we know in any parallel combination the potential across the resistance should be same as the applied emf applied emf that's why here potential across 5 ohm resistor is potential difference across 5 ohm resistor is what equals to 10 volt is what applied emf applied emf why because it is in parallel how it is in parallel in parallel combination potential is constant so what we know what you have to find out we want to find out the current say again same formula v is equals what ir and i is equals what v by r so i is equals to v by r what is v 10 and what is r 5 10 by that is what 5 ones are 5 twos are so among the four first option the right one children dear students if you want to get the same type of videos more videos from me encourage me by supporting like share and subscribe the channel and comment the video also thank you for watching